Oh, welcome to the David Yourself channel, the home of unique RC creations and unique RC views. And here's another example. Hey friends, Dave here with the David Yourself channel, coming back to you from my, well, what I like to call FedEx field. A, because I'm a Redskins fan, and two, this is where they park all the FedEx truck trailers usually. So back over here into the large parking lot area behind this building, where I happen to have lost the Bush Mule V2 on top of this building. So hopefully we won't have that happen today, because what do I got? Well, I got the Aeros F15 64mm that I have fixed. You can see my hot glue and paper tapery up going off up in there but you may also notice i got some cameras going on i have the insta 360 go 2 in between the tail one of the insta 360 go ones there and one inside the cockpit so i'm going to get three camera views in this plane if i can fly it and if it will land safely as you may notice the landing gear on this is a little bit longer than the original landing gear this is actually the e-flight f16 64 millimeter landing gear and this is some landing gear that I had in like a landing gear kit I bought off of eBay at one point. So just kind of made that work. Got the locking nut on front, the whole deal. Seems to be taxing okay. I tested it out a little bit last night, but it was getting too dark to fly. So now we're gonna go ahead and actually maiden this particular plane. <laughs> and I'm gonna maiden it with three cameras on it. Of course, why not? Duh. I have the uh, four cell 2200 Smart pushed as far back as that bad boy will go. The CG is still just a little nose heavy, but we should be in good shape. So will this thing fly with three cameras on it? I sure hope so. Got a little bit of a wind coming, so let me break out my handy dandy uh, wind speed indicator, which everybody should have in their toolbox. <laughs> so here's the wind. So not too bad. There we go. So as you can kind of see, it's coming from the direction that the camera's facing here. So we're gonna kind of take off in this direction hopefully we'll be in good shape and see if this thing will work so if you want to see exactly how this thing flies if this thing flies and if it does fly how kick ass are those videos from the three cameras i have on board well you know what i recommend you do that's right you stick around nice all right friends so i thought i'd go ahead and give you a little bit of an overview of the uh, f-15 i'm about to maiden here I have flown these planes before, but just not this particular one, because the two times I tried to fly it, once you saw it go up underneath the van, which actually was the original maiden attempt for this particular plane here, uh, and then the other one you saw maybe in that little short clip I did the other day where I tried to hand launch it, and it also spiraled straight into the ground. Well, part of the problem was is that the control horns and stuff on the ailerons and elevators were not set properly from the factory, and like a dummy, I did not look. So. I have corrected that, hopefully have fixed that, hopefully be in good shape. The landing gear and uh, all that has, had been, has been repaired. You can see I still have my hot glue seam a little bit there, but most of it's hidden. Where the crack on that nose, I fixed that with paper tape and hot glue, so that'll never break again. The camera is affixed with paper tape and hot glue, so I can pull that off if I need to. As you can see, kind of a little layout of how the paper tape hot glue goes. You put a little paper tape on the plane, you smear that with some hot glue, let it settle, then you go ahead and hot glue whatever you want to it, and then you can just pull it off later. But I have it pretty much all over in the important places. So hopefully we'll be in good shape. And we'll see exactly how this bad boy will fly. And hopefully that little gap right there is not a big deal. So we will find out. So if you want to see if this thing will fly out, well, well, you're still watching this video, so I'm assuming you do. So continue to uh, stick around. Nice. Alright friends, will this work? 
We'll find out. Here we go. It went up, good grief.
I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, and there's that famous S16 flip over. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Here we go. friends. Here we go.
I'll take it. A little hard, but I'll take it. Oh, we have 16. Time expired. I'll take it. Nice. Nice. Flight three, here we go. All right, friends, so some people have asked, how do you get your cameras inside the canopies? Well, let me show you. What I do is I first remove the canopy by using a credit card or something. From there, I use some just some clear tape to tack it on one side. And then you can lift it open, cut a little spot in there for the camera. Fits right in there like that. Button is exposed enough for me to be able to push it. And then from there, since I already have the clear tape on there, just take another piece of clear tape, stick it right back over top. Just like this. And just put it right on top of the old clear tape. Just like that. And there you go, folks. That's how I get my cam cameras inside these canopies. <laughs> now you know. Knowing's half the difference. Half the battle. Good job. All right. All right. Let's do her. Hopefully this will do it. Think of mid-rates this time. Here we go. Oh my goodness.
see you back there. I got him. Bring him in. I'll take it. It's a little, oh, oh, little. <laughs> Just did a dab. <laughs> oh, goodness. That's funny. All right, friends, there we go. There's a few flights with the F-15 with the three cameras on it. One in the cockpit, one on the belly, and one between the tail. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Let me tell you one thing, it is good to have this DX-8 back. <laughs> Flying with that DXS, man, that thing just didn't have the range that this thing's got, and this thing's sweet. So, it flew this plane pretty good today. Landing gear worked pretty good, even with those couple of, well, three hard landings that I had there. Uh, but nonetheless, still seemed to do pretty good. You did notice a little bit of that tip into the side, which is indicative of that F-16 landing gear, but nonetheless you know did a little dab at the end there so that was pretty cool uh but nonetheless uh it seemed to fly pretty good so whew, finally got this thing in the air thank goodness well i definitely learned a lesson even though you get something brand new in the box make sure you check those control surfaces make sure everything's flat make sure all the horns are set in the right spots never really had to do that before until this plane and well, I got lucky and figured it out, and here we go. Well, I didn't figure it out finally, but I mean, you know, that's what you're supposed to do. So <laughs> You're never too old to learn, right? So, you know, whatever it takes, Davey, yourself to make it happen. As you noticed, all the paper tape and hot glue seemed to hold up pretty good for there. Even with the hard landings, didn't seem to have any problems with this nose that was broken off before. So, there you go. Just some paper tape and hot glue, folks. I didn't do anything else. No epoxies, no nothing. So... And now those repairs are the strongest repairs that I have on this plane. They won't break there anymore. But like I mentioned before, here's the... Uh, I'm going to show you how this works out. So, same thing here, paper tape and hot glue on the back. So if I want to get it off, just pull it. Bazing! There you go. So that's how the paper tape and hot glue works. So when you put the piece of paper tape down first and then hot glue it to the plane a little bit, it helps it stick. And then this thing sticks to the tape. And then when you need it, you just pull it off and you'll have very minor, if any, paint damage at all. I got just a little bit of a chip of paint there, but there you go. Of uh, these planes that aren't do where the paint doesn't last very well on them, uh, that's not a bad way to do it. So that's why I have that's exactly the same way I have that one mounted as well. Paper tape and hot glue. You guys hear me say about it all the time, but it's way cheaper than CA glue. You can use it on way more things than you can use it on CA glue, and you can definitely never have to worry about your repairs breaking in that same spot like you do with CA glue. So there's that. Just my little public announcement for everybody out there. So I uh, hope you enjoyed those flights. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, a thumbs up and a like, <laughs> and spread the word on the David Yourself channel. Still trying to get to that thousand subscriber mark. Uh, I'm going to try to get back onto these videos a little bit more. Some of the meds that they currently have me on are working okay-ish. So as those continue to work, then I'll continue to work. So I promise. Please subscribe to my channel. Please help me get to a thousand subscribers so I can shave this long hair off. <laughs> And with the assistance of a drone. That's right, with the assistance of a drone. <laughs> so make sure you're subscribed and just tuned in and stick around for that. Make sure you hit the bell and the like icon and spread and share the comments and love. And until next time, I'm Dave. This is the F-16, F-15, <laughs> F-16 landing gear, F-15 plane <laughs> with three Insta360 GO cameras on it and some of my hodgepodge landing gear and of course my paper tape and hot glue repairs. So until next time, we are
And that's a wrap. All right, friends, I worked hard on that video, so I hope you liked it. If so, please give it a thumbs up and a like, and also leave a comment. Possibly, it also, if you're not already, think about subscribing. Maybe you're hungry for some more videos, and if so, maybe you want to watch this one. Or maybe you want to watch this one. Ah, heck, watch them both, and then go to my channel and binge on the rest of my videos. Yep, that's what I recommend.